Hi guys, this is Faithful with Elegance for Less. I'm going to do a rustic. Yes, I am getting good at doing rustic. I don't do it very often, so I want to incorporate more rustic theme. Um, we're going to do a moss butterfly wall. And what you'll need for this project is a hula hoop, one of the little kids hula hoop. Yes, another toy project. Then you'll need a Dollar Tree um, trifold cardboard. Yes, put the hula hoop onto the board, the center piece, because that's the largest, and cut it out and glue it together. Very simple. Then you will need the Dollar Tree butterflies. These are the plastic butterflies. I'm assuming you'll need three or four packs. So purchase four to be on the safe side. You'll need two packs of moss, I'm assuming two. So you can pick up three if you want to be on the safe side, but I have two to see how that works. I've got glue sticks and glue gun. You will also need spray paint because we are going to spray paint the board, get rid of this color from the hula hoop and um we're also going to spray paint our butterflies now i'm assuming i'm thinking that i want to do um i would like to do gold and rose gold with red not sure yet we will see so i'm going to take these out spray paint them and we can put them back together put the, well assemble them when i get back if this is your first time to my channel welcome and thank you so much for joining me i truly appreciate you taking this time to watch the video i hope that you will like it and decide to become a subscriber all right stay tuned i'll be back with the board being painted okay guys so this is how the board turned out I didn't want to get the entire thing covered with paint because it would have been a waste of paint um, because I'm covering it with moss. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the glue on the inside of the board and start to add the moss down. And I'm not quite sure if how much glue this is going to take so I'm just going to play with it until I get the consistency I'm looking for this may take a bit I don't know that because we're doing it together So lay your glue down and then your moss. I'm going to continue to do this because this is going to be a while, seems like, and if I need to move quickly. And you can always go back and fill in the areas where there isn't moss. So I'm going to do the outer parts. After I'm finished with that, I'll come and fill in the center. But I'll come back and show you before I go too far. All right? Okay, guys, so I decided that this, you know, I do not like anything that's tedious. So um, instead of using the glue gun, I decided to use the glue. You can use the Mod Podge glue or the Elmer's glue. So basically, I'm almost out of the Elmer's glue. Um, so I've been pouring it onto the board and then pressing my moss down on it. And I'm absolutely out. 
Then I also went back and sprinkled some on the top. So I have Mod Podge. So I'm going to go ahead and get that and use it for the board because I am completely out. Alright, but I just wanted to show you guys that I decided not to go with the glue because it was going to eat up my entire uh, <laughs> pack of glue sticks and I don't want to do that. And yes, it seems as if um, two packs of the moss will do just fine because I've gone through one and a half already and I still have half left to finish this little portion. So let me go ahead get my other glue and then I'll just finish it off and let it dry and we can see how it turned out. Okay so I did use the Mod Podge just to finish off just like that and now I'm I basically took some of the glue with some water, put it in a spray um, bottle, and I just want to spritz it just to make sure that the glue got touched on every piece of the moss. I'm going to let this dry. Of course, I'm not going to saturate it, but I want to make sure that it is adhered to this because I'm putting it on the wall. <clears throat> Spritzing it. Whoa. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll come back and we can add our butterflies onto it. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I had this dried. I think it turned out really, really well. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the moss board. I love it. I really, really love it. You guys know I'm not a big rustic person, but this is really cool. Okay, so now I want to share with you what the butterflies turned out, how they turned out. And I just basically did a rose gold. A regular gold, a shimmered gold. The, the red, but it's somewhat like a burgundy. And I also did silver, just to have a pop of a... I didn't want to do white, so I just did silver. So, I'm going to randomly place them onto the board. And... just to see, get an idea. And then I'll come back and lay them out where I want them to be. So I'm thinking more of going around in a circle. And you may not be able to see very well right now, but that's okay because I will um, display it so that you have a better view. Silver, possibly need a gold here. Got gold. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, arrange these, come back, and show you what it looks like, and then just get it up on the board. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is the way it turned out. I am going to put it on the wall. Catherine says that's her least favorite, the brown ones. But I think they're beautiful. I love the moss uh, butterfly wall. I'm going to put it up and you guys can let me know what you're thinking. Guys, this is the way it turned out. I really like it. I hope you do too. I decided I wanted, as I was getting ready to put it up, I wanted to add some bling to the butterflies. So I added some of the Walmart little gemstones. 
really, really love it. Think it popped with the uh, little stones on it. This is a moss butterfly. Got inspired by the moss wall that they're doing on Pinterest. Hope you guys really like it. Give me a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. This is perfect for a farmhouse rustic home or even on your patio. Thank you so much for your support, guys, and I will see you on my next DIY.